Well, good morning. It is kind of a cloudier start to the day as you look outside on the Syntax Roof Systems camera at the Clean Regional Airport. We have a couple of drops that are showing up on the camera lens this morning thanks to some showers that have moved through. Warm and humid to start the day, too. 78 now in Waco and in Marlin, 77 in Tipple, 76 in Clean, 77 in Bryan College Station. We are tracking a few of those showers are moving along in west of I-35. Some of these produce a little bit of brief heavy rainfall there in northern parts of Hamilton County towards Heiko. Also a little shower north of Walnut Springs, seeing a few more stretching down into parts of Coriel, Lampasas County, even the east side of Bell County. And this is what brought some of the rain over the airport there in Galeen that you saw earlier. Now moving into parts of Burnett County, you even saw a little shower that's just to the west of Valley Mills, even some trying to develop towards Hill County. Now, I do expect the rain chances to go up. It's not going to be enough to where you have to cancel your barbecues. These are going to be off and on little rain showers. Not going to rain all day by any means. We'll keep a higher rain chance in the afternoon, about a 20 to 30 percent chance this morning. We'll up that to about a 40 to 60 percent chance chance later on this afternoon as those temperatures are able to get into the upper 80s and lower 90s likely because of that cloud cover still hanging on here on future track you can see this activity will likely favor western counties that's where that cold front will be closer to moving through it'll try to sag through but the majority of this moisture likely rides up over it over our western counties don't expect a huge cool down either we'll get stuck in the 80s tomorrow i think rain chances will go up overnight into tomorrow especially for our northwestern counties as that moisture lifts up over the cold front that front line likely stalling out just a little south of there. So the heaviest rain will likely be just north of our area. That's where you could see some two to three inch rainfall totals. Most of us will only run around half an inch to an inch just from the passing showers that will continue. And as we head into Wednesday, I think we'll still have some showers and some thunderstorms around. As far as how much rain to expect, again, some heavier totals possible to our northwestern counties. That's where some two to three inch totals will be possible, especially just outside of central Texas over towards, say, Comanche, Stephenville, Brownwood. We'll taper that to a half an inch to an inch along I-35 and likely lesser amounts as you move east into the Brazos Valley and our I-45 counties. About a 50 to 60 percent chance of rain today. High of 89, 88 coming up on Tuesday, 87 on Wednesday. You take a look at the rest of that 10-day forecast. Looks like temperatures will be coming back up as we head into the second half of next week and in the Brazos Valley. More of the same, those rain chances tapering off slowly as we head into the second half of the week and on into next week with temperatures slowly rising. The airline industry